Hi everyone, it's Judy here at River City Sewing bringing you this week's video news. Well, the coming week is all about getting back into our classes and um, some of the new classes have started to kick in. Um, Saturday's uh, sampler started off really great last week. Everyone had a great time and there's still time for you to get your, um, to book into that class. Um, even if you've missed the first one, that's fine. We can be able to uh, catch you up on that at the next um, session of that. So Saturday sampler with Jackie. So have a look online and you, it's not too late, never too late to get started and um, we can get you into that one. Now this coming week we've got still some vacancies in all of our classes coming up. We've got our Monday morning, Monday afternoon. We've got our Tuesday evening. Thursday morning patchwork um, is starting to fill up which is fantastic and I've got a, some places left in Saturday Stitch Out if you are looking to do some Saturday sewing. Now for Saturday Stitch Out it can be embroidery or it can be anything else that you'd like to do. Um, so just come along, it's nine till one. So just remember that to book yourselves in for those particular classes. So today is all about um, closing out January. January 31st a lot of the sales for the companies end now we should have um, 28th of December I'm oh, sorry I'm in December 28th of January is the end date for the baby lock sale uh, 31st of January is the end of the Fafasvana sale the Janome sale so if you have been looking at a machine that it has been on Christmas offer, you only have about a week left to do, uh, come in and have a look at that and us get it organized for you. We still have some spot specials here at the store at the moment, and there is some burnettes and um, spot specials on, available, and you'll see them online at the website. So make 2024 your most creative year, and that's what we're trying to encourage everybody to um, you know, start the year off with something a little bit creative. It doesn't have to be a big project. It might be finishing something that you started once before or starting something small. And uh, that will keep your creative process going. And if there's something that you particularly want to learn or if, there, if you've never sewn before and you'd like to see if you like sewing, why not just give us a call here at the store or call in and have a chat to us and we'll be able to help you get started you know, on your creative year. So behind me, we have quite a few of the pre-cuts and things that we have left. Um, a lot of these make great project-based um, purchases because you have a coordinated level of fabric, all color-coded. Now, if you have trouble picking colors, then there's a class for that, which is coming up with Margot. However, when you look at a, a stack like these here, I'll bring, bring this pin drop one out. So these have got little tiny pins on them, which are fantastic. Um, all the hard work's been done because the designers have color coordinated the whole set. So if you're making something um, with, and you're not quite sure what colors go with what, maybe a selection of fat quarters or um, a kit will be extra helpful for you. Now it's the same with the jelly rolls. If you've never used them before, these are pre-cut into two and a half inch strips, but they're full width of fabric. But they're all in the same collection, all color coordinated. So, so you can have another color go with these, which could be either greys or white or a, just a, a solid color. And you could turn this into lots of different things, whether it's a strip based quilt or whether it's a log cabin or one of those things. If you're not quite sure about all these kinds of things, you can just come in and see us. We'll be able to help you get started with whatever project um, you'd like. If you don't know what you'd like, then that's even more reason to come in and have a chat to us. We've got lots of fun ideas, lots of tools that help you get a beautiful job done with a lot of these different fabrics. And even if you've got your own stash and you don't know what to do with it, then why not come in and, and have a look around? We've got lots of tools, lots of rulers, lots of different things that make the job a lot easier. Now, one particular um, that uses log cabins, and we've done pineapples in the past, and you remember those fun little pineapples? Well, there's things like log cabin, wonky log cabin, um, there's strip, um, strip, well, a strip club. Um, there's strip-based 
uh, quilts that you can do with French braid and all those kinds of things. So there's lots of exciting things you can do with one of these. Now, there's a couple of different quilts that we've had displayed in store that use just the jelly roll and a few bit, um, a, a few more pieces. One is called Tightrope, which we've had up on our back wall for quite a, quite a while. And that I've used a jelly roll to make it, plus some white and gray fabric. So if you haven't been in the store for a little while and you are looking forward to get yourself started again into sewing, then why not come in, get some inspiration, have a talk to the team here. They'll be able to help you. If you're not quite sure, come in and see me and book yourself into the class. Bring some of your stash in on a Saturday and I can go through with you and, and basically go through and say, okay, these are the kind of options you've got. Um, bring some fabric in and we can help you coordinate and get you started on your 2024, your first project for 2024. Now, I know many of you have got a great big stash that you've accumulated over COVID and, and before, previous, and you want to use some of that. But sometimes you might need something to go with that fabric that you have in your stash. It's always the way. You've got lots of different colors, but nothing seems to go with it. Well, why not take advantage of, you know, especially Saturday, sample, uh, Saturday stitch out because we've got, this week we've only got a few in the class. So why not bring them into the store and we can go through some of those things that you uh, might have trouble um, putting together with um, different color fabrics and get you started on a project that you might be able to use some of that stash out of, okay? So if you're not really sure about colors and all that kind of stuff, don't stress. That's what our team here are out here for to help you. And if you do want to do a little bit more color theory, then why not have a look at the value of color, which is a class with Margot coming up. Um, and it's a half day class, which is really great. And it helps you get your colors sorted out. So there's lots of different fun things, lots of fun patterns, all different things. Now, a couple of, over the last couple of years, this pattern has gone a bit viral on Instagram and Facebook. And it's big half square um, triangles and called the Exploding Heart from Laura from Slice of Pie. Amazing. Got quite a few of her different patterns, but this one was the one that sort of exploded. We've always had um, these here in stock. And if you want to do something that's really fun. So this one can use fat quarters. It's a scrappy version. Um, so you need some fat quarters. Um, some background fabric, binding and backing, but it's nice, easy piecing. Nothing really difficult, but it's a really effective um, pattern and really a popular one, which has been great. The other one, which I wanted to highlight, if you've got stash and you've got meterage of stash, that this particular one, which is called Modern Art, and it's a quilt that we have in our classroom, um, it goes together in a day. It looks really, really complicated but it's not it's one of my f absolute favorite quilts great as a charity quilt great as something that you need to get together really fast because it's big pieces but the best thing about this particular pattern is that it highlights your fabric so if you've got fabric that you really love and you don't want to cut it up too small then this quilt will do all of that and if you're a beginner this is a great beginner's quilt it might look really complicated but it's not that if you want to start something that you want to make a, um, a quilt for yourself, for someone else, you want to make something for your home, you want to make this, it, it, it highlights the fabric, which is absolutely beautiful. And it's balanced, which is really lovely. So you use around about the same amount of fabric for each of your colors, and then you put your borders on and then all is great. So if you're in any doubt about what you can do as a beginner, then come and see us here. This, this particular pattern also is basically five patterns in one because it gives you baby, baby quilt, a lap quilt, a twin, which is like a single bed, a queen size bed and a king size version. All right, so you get all the different variations in the one pattern and it's super, super easy to do. Believe me, getting a quilt done in a day is, especially if you're in a hurry, um, you know, for me, it's, that was, that's great. This is one of my fun, if I've got to make a quilt for a charity or a raffle or something like that, this will be the one I make and it always looks really different. All right, so if in doubt, come and see us. It's called Modern Art 
And Debbie Maddie's done that design and I absolutely love it. It's one of my, as I said, it's one of my favorites. If you like a little bit of applique, then why not come in and have a look? We've got all these fun and um, patterns from Claire Turpin, which if you've got a scanning cart, then these ones work for you. So this is Poppy's Adventure. If you're a caravanner, then this is really great. But look how cute these are. And you can do all the fun um, cushions and pillows and turn them into runners or turn them into quilts or whatever you want to do um, just using these applique patterns and they're scan and cut compatible so if you haven't used your scan and cut for a very long time which I know many of you haven't then these ones have separated all the sections so that you can cut them out with your scan and cut all right if you don't know how to do that you need to book yourself into Saturday Stitch Out where I'm in the classroom if you wanted to learn how to use your scan and cut you need to book yourself into that one okay because that's the class where you can do anything and I'm in that class so I can show you how to use your scanning cut all right so Saturday Stitch Out is not only about um, embroidery it could be to do with anything related to sewing or quilting all right so you just need to book yourself in so there's lots of fun things. As you saw, we've got Margot's class there. We've got lots of fun fabrics, little kits. So if you want to try something new, if you don't know what to do, we've got a couple of little kits here and more of those are being done. But we got lots of stuff to help you have a creative 2024, as well as all the machines that you need, all the advice that you need. And, um, you know, let's all get stuck in and, you know, keep that creative, um, atmosphere and thing going on all right so there's lots of fun things coming up uh, in the next couple of weeks so with some new product which I can't really show you right now because it's not in stock yet but there's lots of fun stuff if you come in to the store you'll be able to see some of it um, some of the um, foundation PP foundation paper piecing patterns um, our orders have got in they've just gone on to a uh, back order into the states so they're going to be a little bit more to, um, towards the end of February uh, maybe into early March but for all of you who've ordered those you in your first, got your first we've got our first order in with those um, it's just a matter now of them coming in so please um, if you still haven't ordered them yet go in and have a look at those new foundation paper, paper piecing patterns because they are a lot of fun. I'm just itching to get my hands on quite a few of them um, to do some. And then for me, that's my creative 2024. I'd like to do a couple of those. So hopefully you'll be able to show us when you've done yours as well, which will be fantastic. So have a look for the, um, those like I said those specials that are finishing uh, in some of the brands and don't miss out on some of those special offers okay so other things around the store we've moved things around a little bit our pattern walls have changed around um, we've moved some of the other uh, areas and gone through and um, given the store a bit of a zhuzh and we've got some beautiful um, stock coming in and hopefully next week I'll be able to show you some of these amazing big panels that we're um, that are coming in so uh, until next week until we see you again thanks for watching we look forward to seeing you in store next week and if you have any questions about any of the stuff that you saw uh, in the video then please give our team a call and um, look if you just if you don't know what you want to do if you're new to sewing and you want to get started this is the place. Come and talk to us and we can help you. So from Judy and all the team, thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, bye for now.